Guys, so I just got demo access to Create Studios video animation software, and I wanted to go over some of the cool features that I noticed right off the bat. Um, one of my biggest reasons for reviewing and recommending Create Studio is the fact that I use Canva.com a lot. If you're in e-commerce, um, online learning, or anything really entrepreneurial, you probably have used Canva before. Basically what it does is it allows you to create professional graphics for your social media, your website, whatever it may be. Um, and they all look professional and you don't have to be a designer in order to use the programs. Um, the main reason behind this is because there are a lot of templates and presets in the program already. So you can just go ahead and choose a professional looking template fill in all of your personal brand information and whatever personal photos you want to use, and then boom, it's designed and done. With Create Studio, you have a very similar offer, but it's for videos and particularly animated videos. So let me give you guys a little bit of example. I posted a video where I go through a lot of the templates available right now. Again, this is a demo, so you're only seeing a couple but from what I've heard from the developers, they're literally downloading hundreds of different templates onto the program right now as I'm filming this video. So what that means is one, we might have a technical difficulty while using the program where I might have to restart it and new templates are gonna appear. But also it means that as soon as you get access, which can be anytime after May 12th, that's when the product launches, um, that you're gonna see just way more options populated here. So just to give you a quick little view. I like these because these are for stories. I might make one of these later today. Um, but I think that for right now, I just want to show you some basic editing features. So I think this website showcase is a really good one to use for that. It's basically this guy playing on a computer, scrolling through a web page. Um, we're going to put some text in the front of it, we're going to put this in the middle and then finish it off with something else, make a little story video for ourselves. Um, what I really like about this is that you get to see everything from importing new images into the program and placing them within the current content, as well as making little changes like if I want him to wink or wave or if I want him to walk down a street. Um, and I'll show you all of that. So I'm going to hit use template, it's creating the project. So what I'm going to do right now is there's no project media uploaded. So let's just play this just for fun. Click, click, clack. Soon as thing. Okay, so this element right here, this is the laptop back. So I'm just going to break this down a little bit more. There's the animation here. So this is the image that we're going to want to switch out. And literally they make it so easy. It's like we're on it right here. So you just hit replace and I need to upload my media. To upload media you're just going to go into this left hand corner over here and hit import. Um, if you have pre-existing media libraries it'll be in here as well as free images to use. So I don't, I thought I'd uploaded these but I guess I'm going to have to do that manually. Um, so for the purpose of this, let's use the Canva logo. Just took a quick pause so that I could go ahead and upload these files. Um, again, you just hit import media, click the image you want and import and it'll pop up right here. So I'm going to use my review site logos for this just as an example. I also took a screenshot of my homepage so that I can put that right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this element, which represents this piece right here. And I'm going to hit replace, and I'm going to replace it with this. There we go. Okay, so now if you guys look there, it's right in there. This is my website. And if we hit, let's back this up first to play. That's my website. <laughs> That's really cool, right? Um, I also want to go ahead and just for fun, I'm going to show you guys how to add a logo in random spots and you can do this in a million different ways. This is just um, my favorite way of going about it. I'm going to save this too. Cool. Okay, so main project. 
So we have the beginning of the video, which is him looking at the computer from this direction. I want to put a little Create Studio Reviews logo right here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, I think it's this one that I want. No, this one has the background. I'm going to hit this one and just drag it on in. I'm going to resize it and put it on this computer right here. So if you see here, this is the different layers going on. This is a really organized way to look at this timeline down here. So this is on top of this, and this is on top of this, if they overlapped, but they don't. So this one plays independently, and then this one plays. But over here, I'm overlapping two different things. So I'm using this preset animation, which is this, and then I'm also using my own custom image. I want this to time to finish when this video ends. I think that this whole clip stays in this position so I won't need to move it, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is, it's literally as easy as clicking and dragging, and then boom, it fits right here, like that. I'm just gonna hit play. Boom, my logo is right there. My website's filled in right here, so now this is customized for me. But I'm not 100% satisfied yet. What I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna show you guys how to then go ahead and add more content in. So let's, let's see, this is blank here at this almost seven second mark. So I'm gonna add some text and it's gonna say, um, I love my job, comma, but I wish I could be at the park more. Okay. Silly, right? But it doesn't really have to be a perfect example. So I'm just made this a little bit smaller, but what I'm gonna do I think is break this down and I'm also gonna center it. Sorry, this might be hard for you guys to see. Let me change the background color or the text color, excuse me, to purple. Another thing I wanna do is, is that I'm gonna hit where the font is right here, Open Sans. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna actually use one of the popular ones. There's a lot more options. Um, if you click this, I mean, you're gonna have all of the fonts you can really ever ask for, but this one works well for me. Regular size works. I also want to center it, so I'm gonna click back over here and center this and maybe stretch this out now a little bit more so it looks a little less squished. Should make it bigger. There we go. Um, oh, and this button's really cool because you can center anything that you're touching. Um, you can also, you know, put it wherever you want using these too, but I just like this quick and easy center button. You can make something fit to the canvas. You can expand it so that it's the height and the width. All of these are really, really easy to use and save time when you're doing graphic design, so super helpful. I'm just going to center this again like that. Um, I also think I want to add some animation going on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in studio. So see there's media. This is where you can import your own media. But then I'm going to go over to studio. Um, and let's see, let's go to transitions. And this is a transition in. Let's look at some more. These seem fun. Okay, I'm kind of, I like this spiral right here. So I've already downloaded it, but if you want to use any of these, you just hit this little download button, it starts downloading. You're not doing anything or importing anything, it's all done from the platform. And this one's already downloaded though, so I'm just gonna click it and drag it, and I want this to be part of my background. So let's play that and see how it's going first. So right now, this animation is on top of the text. I want my text to be on top of the animation. And so what we're gonna do over here is just in the layers. So here's the text, I love my job, but I wish, right? And this is that transition. So I'm just gonna drag the text above the transition. Let's see if that fixes the issue. Oh, let me back this up. So see now we just added a new slide. The text is still going, so I could either increase the animation or I could just make this fit the animation. So let's watch this as a whole video really quick. Oh, 
Okay, so now let's go to a park scene since we wish we were at the park. And I'm gonna take that exact dude. I think his name is Brad, actually, this fun guy right here. Um, he's a character I can play with in a bunch of different scenes. So I'm going to do that after this text. So I love my job, but I wish I could be at the park more. And then I'm gonna go over back in studio and there's all these different options, characters. This is where Brad's gonna be. But let's go to backgrounds and elegant, supreme. Let's look at supreme. There we go. We're in a park. I like this park a lot. So I'm just going to drag it over. Make sure it's centered. Okay, and now we're seeing nature park at the bottom here. And it's going forever and ever and ever. And we can make this longer, shorter, whatever we want to do. So let's just play this and see what the park looks like. That's really cool. So let's add some text on top of this. And look, no, I am. Let's turn it like this. You can really do anything with this. Look, I am. I'm going to make the text purple. I'm also going to give it an animation. So, sorry, I clicked away from, I went into the nature park instead of the text there. Okay, so here's the text. This is what I'm looking to edit. So the font, I am cool with that. I like its placement. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And then on top of that, what we're also gonna do is for this text, we're gonna add in motion when it comes onto the page. So we're gonna have it slide and get bigger. Sl scale and slide right. Let's see how that looks. That didn't work. Oh, it didn't hit. There we go, okay. So you should now see that feature right down here. Boom, super easy. And now let's add Brad because Brad is stuck in the office right now and he's pretty sick of it. So we have some different choices. I think I see him already. There's 3D characters, which look really cool. Um, this Tom guy I like. And every character, they have different animation features that they can do, like smiling, waving, driving, typing at a computer, um, jumping up and down, whatever it is. So I think, yeah. Oh, his name is Cruz, my bad. So Cruz is just gonna be added over here into the park. So let me just look for my park. That's the park right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add him when my text comes in. Welcome to, oh, he's in a car. So I don't want him in a car. I know this looks confusing. Let me show you guys what this looks like without me fixing it first. So it does the park scene and then it has him driving a car. <laughs> so what we could do is we could move this driving the car scene over to before the park. So it could do this, typing at the computer, looking at my site. And then, oh, I didn't put this quite where I wanted to go. So I wanna put this before the park comes on so it looks like he's driving to the park. So if I look, the park starts over here. So I need to make sure that him driving the car starts over there as well. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's gonna be him in the park doing it. So let's scoot this one back a little bit. There we go. Now the car happens and then this part happens. So let's play that just to double check. Okay, so the text came in a little bit late for my taste. 
So what I'm going to do is just bring the text in a little sooner. So that's this piece right here. And look, now I am. So I'm just going to slide this over to here. And that should happen quicker now. So he's driving his car. Boom, we're at the park. There we go. So now I'm going to actually put him into this scene directly. So I'm going to hit cruise and drag him on over. But I don't want him driving a car. And he can do a lot more than that. So I'm going to find this. That's the graphic we're looking at right now. It's Cruz and he's driving the car. So we're going to change this animation. So, excuse me. So instead of driving a car, I want to have him walking. So let's look at what that would look like. All right, you Cruz. Let's try that again. Don't know why he's not showing up. I'm gonna delete this and try it again. I must have just done something stupid. Okay, let me retry that one more time. So we have Cruz driving the car, right? Oh, you know what? I realized where my mistake was. I'm sorry, you guys. So we have him driving the car. And I'm actually going to add him into the park using the same animation. So I'm going to go over to this and I'm going to add an action. I'm going to have him walking and then I'm going to have an action. I'm going to have him wave. So let's see what that all looks like. Driving his car. Now he's walking in the park and look where he's at. So here while he's walking in and waving i'm not crazy about how big he looks so i'm just gonna make him look a wee bit smaller let's see for scale this is our dude we're just gonna bring him down in size a little bit that. There we go. And that's pretty much it. I mean, each of these elements here, they're, especially when they've been made in templates or in the studio, means that they've been created within Create Studio. So all of these elements are vectorized, which means they are perfect images no matter how much you zoom in, like the graphics are never gonna change, the pixelation's never gonna change, but also it means that you can change any little detail on this, including if you wanted to give each individual element its own particular motion into the park, or really whatever you wanna do, you can take this part out if you think it looks too busy. Just make this center. Oh, another good feature that I really think that I should point out is the canvas color here. So all I did was I'm in the background. I just hit settings and then advanced settings and canvas color. I like to switch it to light because then if you're working with something dark, you can see the contrast difference of where the line stops. Um, guidelines, snapping, auto save. This is a great feature. I'll talk about it in the next video. Um, there's just so much with this program that I'm just going to push little by little. Okay, talk to you guys soon.